Hello and welcome to this video where we're going to take a look at extracting MIDI from audio. So this is a feature which only Cubase Pro has, so if you don't have the full Pro version then this feature isn't going to be something that you've got, although it might be one of the things that persuades you possibly to upgrade. This uses the uh, Vary Audio function in the Audio Editor, which is something we'll be looking at in future videos. And it's also a feature which maybe lags a little bit behind other DOWs such as Live, which can do pretty interesting things with audio, but we're going to see what we can do. So here's the setup. It's pretty simple. This is a free vocal sample, which I've downloaded. I've leave, leave a link in the description. Write it, brother, or you'll be colliding, brother. So that's it. The, the click is just present, Ride obviously. It, brother. It's not in the sample. I just had that turned on so you get an idea of the timing. So to do this, this is actually pretty simple. So double click it to open it up in the audio editor. I'm going to just make this a little bit bigger just so you can see that fairly evenly. But actually, it's in the inspector is what we want to do. So you can open up the very audio section and then click edit very audio and Cubase will analyze the audio. So here you can see these are the pitches which Cubase has come up with. And then in those pitches, there's also inflections, pitch bend data, etc., as it will be. So from here, once you've done that, it's pretty straightforward. So you click the functions drop down menu and then pick extract MIDI. Now, these are the default settings of notes and static pitch bend data and a pitch bend range of two, which we're going to try out first. So when you click that, Cubase extracts that data and I'm just going to close the audio editor and we will see that underneath there we now have a MIDI track with some pitch bend data. You can probably see those lines in there. So that's just static pitch bend for each note. It's not going to play at the moment because we haven't got a MIDI device but I'm just going to create an instrument track, Halley and Sonic, and going to use this robotic voice preset. And then drag the MIDI to that. In fact, I'm going to remove that track. And now when we play that. So you can see it's it's not too bad. Some of the pitch bend here is possibly a bit off. If we compare it to the original, play the two together. Ride it, brother, or you'll be colliding, brother. I think maybe the pitch bend is a little bit sharp here, but you could tweak that pretty easily, just opening it up in the editor, changing the control lane to pitch bend, and then you can tweak these. So that's that's pretty easy to fix. The useful thing with this I found on some of the projects I've been working on is it means you can quickly get the timing, etc. right. So you can see that, for instance, this note is a little bit late, and this note's a little bit late as well. It's it's quite useful for extracting sort of real feel, etc. I had a job to do the other day where I needed to go through an entire piano track. Fortunately, it had stems, and fortunately, it was only in mono, but it just meant it took minutes and then just went through and just tidied things up. But this, this does a lot of the work for you. Now, let's just remove that and now try this again using one of the other settings. So again, go to functions and extract MIDI. Now here, instead of static pitch bend, let's see what happens when you do notes and continuous pitch bend data. And it may give you a warning, say it requires a bigger pitch bend range, because here it's detected that there's a bigger pitch bend range in some of the notes. So we're just going to turn that up to three, and then hit OK. Again, coming out of the editor, now you can see there's a lot more pitch bend there but we need to fix the pitch bend range otherwise it's definitely going to go crazy so in the case Halley and Sonic it's reasonably easy you can switch to the edit mode just by tapping E while you've got this focus so you'd normally you'd click in this part of the window and then just hit E so I'm just clicking here even though it does nothing and then hitting E and then I can change the pitch bend range here this is a bit weird although I mean it makes logical sense but it's just a bit odd because you you that's down more so negative needs to go down, which it does, but it just, first time you do it, you think, well, I wanted to make this a bigger negative number. But anyway, there we go. Plus or minus three semitones. Now, when we do this, 
we'll get this. So some of that I like. Like I quite like the vibrato in here. This, not so much. But again, you can soon edit it pretty quickly. Play around with those uh, pitch bend data and the notes that are in there because sometimes you'll find that the pitch bend is is meaning that the, the static note is actually a bit off and you'll need to move it. But it doesn't take long to edit this kind of thing. And it can add, you know, a robot voice dimension in this case. Ride it, brother, or you'll be colliding, brother. Pretty quickly. So now you know how you can convert audio into MIDI. I hope that's been useful and we'll see you again soon.